In this video, you'll see a tutor and learner practice using a graphic organizer to revise and improve the learner's writing. Conversations and questions help learners think more deeply about their piece of writing and see places where improvements could be made. Graphic organizers help learners organize their ideas and add information and details to a first draft. Revision is one of the most important parts of the writing process. Revision helps the writer re-see their piece of writing and improve it. Amanda, it's good to see you again. Nice to see you too. <laughs> so what have you been doing with yourself? I have been studying the materials that you've given me so that I can practice writing better. Excellent, excellent. So what are you working on now? Um, actually, r recently I just decided to write a story about my fiancé's Bill's fishing trip, and I'd like to see if you would take a look at it. Sure, sure. Okay. Slide it open. There you go. Would you like to read it sure. to me? Bill was ready for his trip to Lake Norman. His bags were packed and his truck was gassed up. All he had to do was read the map one more time and he would be off. He had heard that Lake Norman was a good spot for fishing and he couldn't wait to get there. As Bill drove, he kept a close eye on his speed because he was traveling through different states. It would be a pain to get pulled over. Around lunchtime, Bill started to get hungry. He saw a sign for Denny's and took the exit. As he pulled into the parking lot, Bill thought about what he would eat. He also thought about the fish he would catch when he got to the lake. Okay, very cool story. And did this really happen or, or is this an elaboration of, of something from your imagination? It's an actual story that he uh, was doing. Okay, well we can revise it a little bit and add some more details. Of course to make it more interesting. Okay. How about that? Sounds like a plan. So I think this would be a good place to introduce a graphic organizer. Okay. Now, I say graphic organizer. What, what do you think of when you hear graphic organizer? I think a graphic organizer would be something that helps you to organize your writing. Excellent. That's exactly what it is. It's a chart. Um, and you can add to it and it helps you build your writing. This one is an event graphic organizer. And you can tell that because event is in the center. And then all of the details come off of that center wheel, so to speak. So when you're doing a graphic organizer, especially one like this, to add more details to your writing, think about the five W's and the H. Okay. And the five W's and the H are? Who, what, when, where, why, and how. What? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Those are the five. Okay. So we're going to add details and I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to write while you give me the details. And that way you don't have to think and write. You okay. think, I'll write. You be the brains, I'll be the brawn. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so remember what we talked about before, a good start. So a, one way to have a good start is to come up with a title. What do you think would be a good title? Bill's Trip Fishing. Bill's Trip Fishing, okay, mm -hmm. that's vanilla. It tells what happened, true, and you know that the, the title is a, the main idea, but it also wants to grab the reader. Okay. So, B Bill's fishing trip where? Bill's journey to the lake. Ooh, I like that. Bill's journey to the lake. What, what lake? Oh, Lake Norman. So we'll get we'll take out the and put Lake Norman. What now? What what special do we have to do with Lake and Norman? Capitalize the first letters. Yes, absolutely, because it's a specific lake, what they call a proper noun. Mm -hmm. So it's a 
a specific lake, so we capitalized both first letters. Alrighty. So, you said he was ready for his trip to Lake Norman. When? When did it happen? What, what time of day? What time of year? What? Because when is not just um, but isolated to a clock. It could okay. be a month, a year, an eon, an era. So. Okay. He left in the morning. Okay. Around 9 a.m. Yeah, about how far away is Lake Norman? Three hours. Okay. When? Three hours. So he drove for three hours. So now we have a good idea. He got up and he drove because he had everything ready to go. And all he had to do was read the road map. He drove for three hours. Mm -hmm. And how did it happen? He gassed up the truck, had his gear, and he drove away. Okay. Can you think of any more details that you would like to add to that first paragraph? Um, he had to get his fishing pole together. Okay. He had to grab his tackle box and his jar of worms. Oh, worms. Mm. <laughs> you said pole, worms, and... His tackle box. Tackle box. That's important. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought about that one. So, why was he going fishing? Because we didn't really mention why in the beginning. He was doing it to go for fun, but he better be bringing back dinner. Fun and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you like to clean the fish when he Actually, I do. So who was involved? Was it, who was with him? He had to have some home time, so it was just him by himself. Okay, no dog, no. No me, I stayed home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said dog, not you. <laughs> okay, no dog, no you. It was just just Bill. Yep. Do, does he take a radio with him or anything like that? No, but he likes the silence and just to hear nature. Excellent. Okay. So, we, we did say where it happened. Mm -hmm. Now, where is Lake Norman? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay. So, it happened in Pennsylvania. Because Pennsylvania is a long word. Okay. And what are some of the things that happened? Now, we, I, he watched his speed, but why was he watching his speed? I mean, I, it says that he, um, it was a pain getting pulled over, but... Because certain places are more strict than others when it comes to speed and getting pulled over, well, then he wouldn't have money to stop at Denny's. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> speed equals no funds. Okay. And what happened? Because he, I mean, it's, it, you say that he drove, he traveled through different states, and then he stopped and he ate. We know he's, he ate at Denny's. Does he have a favorite meal? A bacon cheeseburger. Okay, so he got a bacon cheeseburger, his favorite. So it's good to include that he had his favorite meal because now it lets us know the mood that Bill was in when he was when he was traveling, and we could even say something like that in this first paragraph. He was ready for his trip. We we need a little idea of how he was feeling. He was happy. Okay. And awake. Happy and awake. Vanilla. Okay. He was excited to be able to go on his trip. Excellent. I like that. Do, do, do. Why? He, let's just put mood. See, you don't have to stay in the box. You can add whatever works so that you can make sure you have a, a full, well-rounded story. Okay. 
So he was excited. To have some hem time. <laughs> so we've got some, um, some, some pretty decent details. So I want you to look over these details and tell me what you think. Okay. Looks great. Adds more detail to it, and which is what we were searching for. Okay. So each of these um, parts of the event map names your event, which you could even turn into a title for your, your story. It explains why it happened, how it happened, when, what happened, where it happened, and who was involved. Okay. That way you can get some meaty details into your writing. And we just stepped outside the box because I thought it was important for us to capture Bill's mood. Okay. Uh, because he could have been depressed and decided to go fishing to get his mind off of things. So it's good for the reader to know how Bill was feeling when he went, um, when he went fishing. Okay. Okay. So... About this strategy, using an event map, what do you think about that? I think it makes it a lot easier because gathering ideas before you write the paper can help you write an exciting paper. Yes, and we started off with, a, with the paper first and then we added the details. But you see that you can use a graphic organizer before you write but you can also use one while you're writing to help you to add more details and to give you a stronger, better piece of writing. And tell me what you think about your story now that you have added more details. I like it better because it adds more details and it makes the original one I wrote look like a rough draft. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And, and what do you think it's going to mean to a reader reading your, your writing? I think because of the details and the extra that I added to it to make it not so vanilla, mm -hmm. it would be more exciting for somebody who does like to fish and travel to read. Beautiful. Do you think you'd use it again? Do you think you would use a graphic organizer to add details to your writing? I definitely do. Great. Um, and I tell you what, there are other different types of graphic organizers. This is just one. There are so so many, so many. So we can explore another one the next time you try to write. And this time we can do it before as a pre-writing strategy, as well as a conclusion to make sure that we have what we're looking for from the beginning to the end. How's that? Sounds like a great idea. Okay, great. In this video, you just saw a tutor and learner use a graphic organizer to make revisions to the learner's writing. Conversations about a learner's piece of writing help learners think about things to add or change to make the writing better. Graphic organizers can be used to improve a first draft or to help learners plan their writing.